The Health Promotion Administration is on a mission to help older people avoid falls and the injuries they cause. According to government data, one in six people aged 65 and up will have a fall each given year. And one in 12 of those falls will lead to a trip to the hospital. But there are lots of simple ways to reduce the risk of a fall and to help our nearest and dearest stay safe. Let's hear from the experts on how to keep steady on our feet. Shift your center of gravity to your buttocks, lean on the frame, and gradually stand up straight. This doctor is the perfect model, demonstrating how older adults can train their muscles with simple exercises, improving their balance, and reducing the chances of a fall. Older people can exercise safely and they can go traveling safely. They'll only be willing to go out when they feel confident. So when you take them out with a walking stick, when you look at the stick, it is supporting their weight over a large area area like the four feet so they're less likely to fall. Statistics suggest that a severe fall is one of the top three causes of mortality for people aged 65 and up. Most older people still tend to have a fall at home. That's about 45% of falls. Most occur in the bedroom or in the living room. Outside, it could be on the road, on a sidewalk or a walkway. The Health Promotion Administration has five tips for older people to avoid falls. Avoid uneven surfaces and roads obstructed with objects. Don't wear loose clothing or accessories that could catch on the environment. Consider a cane or other walking aids. Exercise regularly and eat healthy. And finally, take care to use medication safely. For example, if you go to a hotel, is the floor uneven? Ideally, the light switch should be in a very convenient location because turning the light on is very dangerous for older people. Secondly, when you get out of bed, especially in the middle of the night, you might want to tell your family because getting out of bed is a moment with a high risk of falling. You might want to sit on the edge of the bed a while, three to five minutes before going to the toilet. These doctors highlight that a dangerous fall most often involves a head injury or a chest impact or broken bone. If you do fall, stay still and try not to move. That will reduce the chances of a secondary injury.